It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru for today's Adobe Illustrator for Fashion quick tip. You know, I've never thought about using the blend tool in the way that I'm about to show you. But when I saw it, I thought this really is a very practical way to add buttons to a garment. In case you've never used the blend tool, it works very much like the gradient tool, except the gradient tool blends color and the blend tool blends objects. Now, most of us, when adding multiple buttons to a garment, choose one of two options. One, we'll place all buttons as desired and then use the align panel to center, distribute, and space them evenly. Or two, we place the first button as desired, hold the Alt Option key to create the copy, hold the Shift key to keep the objects aligned, and drag a copy of the button. Then to continue duplicating the button the same distance, press Control or Command D. Both of these are great options to create evenly spaced buttons on a garment. But watch how even simpler this process is when using the Blend tool. First, place the top and bottom buttons in position on your garment. Choose the Blend tool. Bring the cursor to the center of the bottom button and click again. After the second click, you'll see either multiple buttons or a gradient between the two original buttons. To choose the number of buttons on the garment, double click the blend tool. Change the options to specified steps, which will allow you to choose the number of buttons on your garment. There are three huge advantages to using this method. One, it will automatically evenly space your buttons. Two, should you ever need to change the spacing of your buttons, say you want to move the position of the bottom button up or down, all buttons are automatically respaced. And three, if you ever need to remove or add buttons, just double click the blend tool, change the number of specified steps, and your buttons are once again redistributed. The blend tool makes a task that is normally four or more steps into a task closer to two or three steps, and even less if you ever need to make revisions. So that's your digital design tip for today. I'm Mikkel, your digital fashion guru. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.